of our hard-working farmers and for sustainable food sufficient in Nigeria. May I at this juncture remind you that politics is around the corner. The wife of the governor of uh, all those states has spelled it out. This offers women another opportunity to aspire to leadership positions as well as to support fellow women in authority. Without women taking active part at all levels of decision making, the goals of equity, development, and peace cannot be achieved. I want to therefore at this junction encourage women to register, seek political posts, and vote wisely during elections. Remember that every vote counts. Let us stop the pull her down syndrome and be united not only to vote credible candidates into office, but also contest for elective positions. Women, you are allowed to contest. These women go to the grassroots and pick their forms. Women, especially I appeal to you, go to your governors, go to your parties, go and register. Women registration is at the door. Come out in mass and register. And vote yourself, women. Don't put another woman down. Love one another. Be united. Women, be agents of peace. Around you, there should be peace. Your watch world should be peace, 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 peace. Your song should be peace. Wherever you are, peace. I have told you, I'm Mama Peace. So carry your only branch and preach for peace. I would like to take this opportunity to call on wives of the executive governors to carry the women along in their states. You should educate the women that their vote is their power and not to sell their vote because every vote counts. Governors wise, you have to go into enlightenment campaign for your woman and drag them personally. That's why I so much appreciates the governor's wife of Cross River State. She did well. In all the local government elections in Cross River State, either a woman is the chairman, if you are not the chairman, then man will be the chairman, woman will be the vice. The vice chairman. So you see that every local government, women, we are represented. It's the same thing I want every state to help us and do. Just carry your women along. Plead with your husbands, because I know you cannot do it alone without your husbands. Your husbands are the head, you are the neck. So you need the head. Just go home and kneel by his side and plead with him. Daddy, carry the woman along.
and God will see us through. God will help our husbands to listen to us. And God will help, will touch them to carry the women along. Before I conclude my address, I would like to thank His Excellency, the Executive Governor for your state, Chief Abiola Ajimobi, and his dear wife, my sister Florence Ajimobi, for the warm reception accorded to me and my entourage since our arrival in Nevada. Thank you so much. I also want to thank their excellencies, especially the wife of the executive governor of all those states, Mrs. Solukemi Mimiko. What can we do without you? What can we do without your support? Thank you for supporting one another. We appreciate it. Who has joined us here today for this memorable occasion? I appreciate you, my dear sister. And I won't end this speech without thanking specially the woman that made this day happen, the woman that gathered all of us here, the woman that is distributing this item to us today, because without her bringing all these things, we won't gather here. My dear sister, the minister of LCT for States, Olaye. Akinji Devi, thank you so much. We appreciate you. And precious, you are not left out. The MDG, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for carrying women along. On this note, it is my pleasure to flag up the distribution of these empowerment items and fertilizers to the beneficiaries. What's more, the women of Oyo State, the women of Southwest, I thank you for coming. May the good Lord lead you back to your destinations. And may God protect you and guide you. Thank you for coming, and God bless you all. No more peace. One, two, three, four. I I'm not